Some of them who took the Qur'an, some of the Muslims, some of the believers, who took the Qur'an and inherited it, some of them wronged themselves. That's the first category of people, those who wronged themselves. And some follow the medium course. That's the second category of people. And some, by Allah's permission, race and compete with each other in acts of goodness. That's the third category of believers. Then Allah says, that is the great bounty. So now we have three levels of people Allah introduces to us among the believers. Number one, those who are unjust to themselves. Number two, those following the middle course. Number three, those excelling in good deeds. Which one's the highest? Those who excel in good deeds. The middle course and the lowest are the ones who wrong themselves. Subhanallah, it's so interesting the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about sinners. He doesn't say they are sinners. He say they are unjust to themselves. As if to tell us, Allah didn't wrong you. You're wronging yourself. You're hurting yourself. As if to say to us, the only reason Allah forbid certain things, told us this is haram, is because it harms you. When you do the haram, you are harming yourself. You are being unfair to yourself. It's like saying, actually I'll give you the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. He said, I am to you, our Messenger Muhammad ﷺ said to his companions and to all of his ummah, to us, I am to you like a man who is sitting at night with a fire burning in front of him. He's lit up a fire. And he sees butterflies and insects flying towards the fire because they think it's food, they think it's nice, they think it's party, they think it's colorful, they want to go into it, they think it's good. But they don't know that the fire, if they come closer, it will burn them. And the man has kindness to the butterflies and all the insects. He keeps moving them away. He says, I am to you, my ummah, those who follow me, my companions and those who follow me, like that man. You keep flying like those butterflies into the fire and I have come to save you and keep you away from it, always telling you to stay away. And we, inshallah, inherit that from him by helping each other to stay away from the fire too. Your brother, your sister, yourself, to your family, to your parents, to your children, to your neighbors, to everyone that you can. Help them stay away from that. So now we move on. Who are these three people? Number one, those unjust to themselves. They are true believers but sinful. Culprits, but not rebellious. Weak of faith, but not hypocritical and unbelieving at their heart. That's the first category. Those who wrong themselves are the majority of people today. They're the majority of Muslims, of believers. They're the ones who are always doing major sins. They're the ones who are neglecting their compulsory duties. But they're not hypocritical. Like you ask, they still believe in the Quran and Sunnah. They still believe in all of that. They're not committing acts of shirk. They're not polytheists. They're not doing things against their religion. They're not allying with enemies of Islam. You know, you see them, mashallah, when people are being oppressed, they stand up. And they say, for the sake of Allah, I will defend them. And I look forward to paradise. Yet, if you look into their lives, or you look into, that, look into your own life, you find they're not really... A person who is walking the path of paradise. Salat is neglected, probably prays Friday on, Friday off. The five daily prayers on and off. Ramadan, he just wants it to go very quickly. When it comes to hijab and covering yourself up for uh, women and the, the men covering your aura, and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Messenger, they have shortcomings in that. But when you come to ask them, and when they sit down, they don't want to be sinners. They don't like it. They still believe. This is the first category Allah talks about. The ones who are unjust to themselves. They inherited the Qur'an and Allah considers them inheritors of the Qur'an. The second category, those following the middle course. Who are they? They're less in number than the first category, but they are more in number than the last category. Those following the middle course. 
They are true believers and they have a combination of both the good and the evil actions in their life. At times they're very obedient, other times they let themselves free. So they're kind of casual. One moment they have a long few weeks of mashallah, then they go, the shaitan comes and says, take a break. Another whole week, few weeks of not mashallah, and then they come back to the mashallahs, and then the not mashallahs, and then hope that they die when they're on the mashallahs. It's like gambling. Maybe, maybe not, I'll just take my chances. And so that's the middle class. The middle class, they do pray their five daily prayers. The middle class, they do fast that Ramadan and they appreciate it. They're a little bit better than the other ones. But they sometimes let themselves free with sins and stuff. Sometimes they fall into major sins and they come back. Or they'll go to an Umrah and say, man, I need an Umrah. Why? I'm not going to tell you, man, but I just need an Umrah. I need one. I need a little surge of you know, Iman. It's that type. They're in the middle course. And now the final ones, those excelling in good deeds. They're the minority. They're the most special. They're the ones Allah praises all the time in the Quran. They're the ones who when Allah says, among the believers, Among the believers are true men. And it also means true women. Who were truthful to their promise and covenant they made with Allah. فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَضَى نَحْبَهُ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَنْتَظِرْ وَمَا بَدَّلُوا تَبْدِيلًا Some of them have already passed and died while worshipping in the cause of Allah and sacrificing and fighting, fighting just cause. And some of them still await. Some of them are still waiting. This means two things. This was talking about the believers who went to the battle of Badr in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Some of them died as martyrs fighting the disbelievers when they attacked them from Mecca, and they were the best of martyrs, and Allah says, they've already passed, and Allah has already raised them, and He has shown them their enormous kingdom, and they wish to return, but Allah has, does not allow them to return, because Allah has written, no one comes back to this world, and some of them are still waiting, and it also applies to the rest of the ummah till the end of time. Some of them, Allah creates them, and some of them are not born yet. Some of them have passed, and some of the great men and women are still coming. Why? They never change their promise. From the moment they're born to the moment they die, no matter when you meet them and see them, they're still, mashallah, on the straight path. Have you ever met people like that? They're the people who when they see a good deed, they don't care what people think, they race to it. And when they see someone beating them to it, they smile and make dua for them and say, I'm going to do even better. They never get jealous of people. They never compete because of materialism. If they do compete, they love what you have. If they debate with you and you debate with them, it doesn't become into a debate, it becomes into a discussion. And these types of people wish and hope that you are right and they're wrong. They will give from their own wealth and their own struggles to see you happy. Allah describes them. And they would deny themselves while they are in need, in order for you to live. These people are very rare, but compared to the population of Muslims, nearly 2 billion, if you count them, they'll come out a big amount. But compared to the past, they're still very rare, in proportion, in ratio. Allah describes this excelling people in the Quran. Allah says, وَالسَّابِقُونَ السَّابِقُونَ أُولَٰئِكَ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ فِي جَنَّاتِ النَّعِيمِ ثُلَّةٌ مِّنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنَ الْآخِرِينَ Allah says in Surah Al-Waqi'ah verse 10, As for the foremost... They will be the foremost. They shall be near stationed to their Lord in the gardens of bliss. A large number of them from the ancients and a few from them from the latter times. My beloved brothers and sisters, there are three categories of people. And number one 
is those who are unjust to themselves number two those who follow the middle course and number three those excelling in good deeds so dear brothers and sisters those of you who seen you are doing injustice towards yourself you are harming yourself if you have sinned no matter what sin you have done how many times you have done just turn towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask allah for forgiveness repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah will forgive all of your sins allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there to answer your duas allah says la taknatu min rahmatillah inna allah yaghfiru az-dhunuba jami'a never ever despair in the mercy of allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of your sins and in another verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa man yaghfiru az-dhunuba illa allah who will forgive your sins if not allah so those of you who are sinning you are not harming anyone but yourself so turn towards allah and ask allah for forgiveness cry to allah beg to allah be sincere shed your tears and see how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you allah opens the doors of opportunities for you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you success allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you sustenance so a true muslim whenever he does a sin he mistakes he turns towards allah and he asks allah's forgiveness allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to forgive you the best of sinners are those who repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala